Greetings, Earthlings! It's been Aqua! Okay, I get a ton of questions about accessories for my mirrorless cameras, and I wanted to share my 10 favorite accessories for the G85, the GX85, or pretty much any mirrorless or even DSLR camera. I'll leave Amazon links for everything in the description below. Let's get into it. Number one, Rode Video Micro. The Video Micro is an excellent portable shotgun mic. It's only $60 and it gives you much better audio quality than the camera's built-in mic. It's also super small and it kind of looks like you have a cute baby porcupine perched on your camera. It doesn't require any batteries, so just plug it into your camera's mic input and start recording your juicy voice. Number two. Extra batteries. My cameras can burn through batteries, especially when shooting video in 4K. I grabbed a two pack of third party batteries made by Wasabi Power. Wasabi is just so spicy. Two batteries for the G85 were only $26 and they came with a wall charger, a car adapter, and an international plug adapter. I never leave my house without at least one extra fully charged battery in my bag. Number three, Cuff by Peak Design. The Cuff is a super high quality wrist strap that I use while shooting handheld, so I don't have to worry about dropping my precious camera. I attach the $30 Cuff to the bottom of my camera using a Peak Design mounting plate, which also acts as a quick release when the camera is on a tripod. If you shoot handheld a lot, don't need a full camera strap, and if you're clumsy as hell like me, I would definitely recommend the Cuff. Number four, Slide by Peak Design. If you want a full-blown camera strap, the slide is the way to go. Yes, it's a $60 camera strap, but it's super high quality and comes with several Peak Design anchors and a tripod mounting plate. The fabric feels like a sleek seatbelt material, but one side is grippy, so it won't slide everywhere when you don't want it to. Number five. Q666 tripod. This is an excellent satanic tripod for only $70 on Amazon. It's built like a tank, folds up nicely for portability, and comes with a really easy to use sturdy ball joint for quickly changing camera angles. One of the tripod legs screws off and turns into a monopod, which can also be super handy for fighting off your haters. What'd you call me? One autograph at a time, please. Number six, Pedco UltraPod 2. At only $19, this is a super cheap, lightweight, and sturdy portable tripod I use when filming stuff on my desk, on the ground, or while vlogging. You can easily fold it up and use it as a handheld tripod for situations where you don't want to lug around a gigantic heavy tripod. You can use the included Velcro strap to attach your camera to trees, poles, or other accidentally phallic objects. It's an excellent, much cheaper alternative to the ultra popular but expensive Gorillapod. Number seven, ND filter. ND, or neutral density filters, are like sunglasses for your lens. They reduce the amount of light that hits the camera sensor so you can shoot long exposures in broad daylight or at night while avoiding blown highlights. Be gone, blown highlights. My $20 58mm KNF ND filter is adjustable, so you set up the shot and adjust the darkness of the filter until the light meter zeroes out. When buying your ND filter, look on the front of your lens for a number next to the weird zero symbol and match that number with the size of the ND filter so it fits on there like a glove. Number eight, high speed micro SD cards. If you're shooting 4K video or RAW photos, I recommend getting at least a couple high speed micro SD cards. I use SanDisk Extreme 32 gigabyte cards, which are only $19 a pop. Make sure your SD card has Class 10, U3, and V30 logos on them to get those blazing fast read and write speeds that can keep up with your juicy 4K footage. Number nine, Yangwo YN300 Mark III LED lights. I use a couple of these excellent lights in many of my videos. They're bright enough for lighting up a small space or adding some fill lights to your shot. I typically diffuse one light through an umbrella for my main soft key light and a second light as a backlight or fill light. And number 10, a lunchbox. Yep, a lunchbox. Except this lunchbox isn't full of cold pizza and drugs. I use an Arctic Zone Ultra insulated lunchbox to carry my camera, two or three lenses, extra batteries, an ND filter, and my shotgun microphone. It's lightweight, compact, and inconspicuous because no one needs to know that I'm walking down the street with a bunch of expensive gear. And since it's insulated, my gear won't overheat or freeze as easily, and there's a little extra padding around everything just in case I drop it. So there you go, my top 10 favorite camera accessories for the G85, the GX85, or pretty much any mirrorless or DSLR camera. If you found this video helpful, please like this video. Don't forget to smash or even demolish that subscribe button and let me know in the comments which accessories you use or if you have any questions about my setup. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. That's right, I'm gonna do a little something different for y'all. Make sure she looks cute though first. Spicy! <laughs> what the hell was that? The things we do for YouTube. If my chair would stop squeaking. Like I'm sitting on a damn rat. Ben, don't hit your actual camera. What am I doing with my life? <laughs>